Anyway, you ready? Yeah, because I, I, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, I know. I'm like, we gotta get, we gotta stop talking. Come on. Oh no, that's the whole point of this is we're all talking. I know. But I'm like, oh man, Amy. Oh uh, yeah, Spencer with the turkey tail. <laughs> I forgot about that. There was so much money on the stage. I know, and there was way more when you left too. Like you see it just fill up yeah. as this show goes on. So you always start with the high kick. Always, always. Is this just like cause I can? I could never do a cartwheel. So when oh. I was growing up, like when people would be doing cartwheels, I was like, oh yeah. yeah. And then um, when I started doing stand up, like it was just like a weird nervous thing. Mm -hmm. And then I, I took a class and I like stopped doing it. And I remember one of the kids in the class, or one of the women in the class was yeah. like, no. You gotta do the high kick, so. Okay, so yeah. someone was just standing up for you and be like, you gotta do something. Yeah, but it also was just like uniquely me, you know? Mm -hmm. I kinda hate the word unique, but mm -hmm. it's just like what I do. And I always have like weird, I know I'm very physical and I have like weird physicalities and that's just one of them. Like, yeah. And I do it like even in She's Crafty shows. Yeah. It's to the point now, like we go to Des Moines a lot and every time I high kick, it's like a giant cheer. It's like they're awesome. just waiting for it. It's so weird. I'm like, oh, this is what I'm known for. Yeah. So I'm hoping that I can still high kick when I'm at 80. Yeah. It's my goal. Stay limber. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Well, that's the thing. Most tall people, and you, you allude to this in the set, but most tall people are trying to make themselves smaller. Yes. So yes. when you high kick, it's almost just like. Taking it all over. Yeah. Yeah. Like I <laughs> this almost. This all mine now. <laughs> like I've even. Even just like I sometimes forget how tall I am, uh -huh. and especially when I get excited about something. Sometimes like like even when I get off the train, sometimes like when people like come at me, there have been moments where I almost like lunge at them, and it's not <laughs> even like I'm lunging. It's just like I'm just you know, if I was smaller, it wouldn't be a big deal, but yeah. because of my height, I'm like, oh yeah, that was yeah, threatening. Right. Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah. And then I like I like yeah. this bit about the kid. Oh, my nephew. I love him. Oh, my God. I love it when little kids swear. I can't hold it together. I, and honestly, too, like, I we were, like, driving to go pick him up from preschool. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I got to get all the fucks out now because I don't want to I don't <laughs> yeah. want to stay in front of him because I know I swear in front of my other nephews and niece. And my sister was like, oh, don't worry about it. Yeah. And then when he dropped it, she just kind of looked at me. And I was like, I knew it was going to come. Yeah. And I was like, no, dude, I'm not going to react. And it's crazy because he did not He didn't do it again. Yeah. So it was totally like he was testing the waters with his mm -hmm. emmy emmy and i was like nope i'm not gonna do it <laughs> no nope. that's that's an amazing poker face because i yeah. can especially if the kid's cute i'm like i can't oh like, my god oh, he's man. so cute <laughs> so but there's also like i worked with kids for like 12 years so oh yeah there's certain kids like i know i'm like i know what you're doing right now yeah. so you've seen yeah. this all before yeah yeah, yeah. And they always forget, like, we did it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because so, I remember the first time I said shit in front of my parents. Oh, man. And it was like, I was in high school. But I remember, like, like I had something stuck to my butt, and I realized, and I was like, oh, shit. And just, like, my mom and dad just started dying. Like, they were, like, yeah. dying. So then after that, I was like, okay, cool. But both my parents swore a lot, too. Like, my dad's yeah. a truck driver. Like, oh, man. I learned a lot from my truck driver dad. Wow. Yeah. That was one of the challenges for my dad. He's, he's really into comedy, and... He, when my little sister was like two going through the terrible twos there's yeah. a moment he keeps talking about where she was in a hallway like she was locked in her room like they were putting her in time out but she was just fighting to get out yeah. and so they were like holding the door like so she couldn't get out then finally they walk away because she's done then she bursts out the door she <laughs> stares at them like this little tiny yeah. terror and she stares at them and she's like you you poo poo head like that's the <laughs> best thing she could say and he turns away. His, the way he tells the story is he grabs his face and turns away from her because he he's going to like just crack. Up. Yeah. And as soon as she stomped back to her room, he was just on the floor. Like. Oh, I love it. I love it. And that's the thing too. Like kids sometimes like my nephew one time was like, why is my forehead crying? And I was like, oh, you're sweating, buddy. That's sweat. Wow. That's too cute. So sweet. I love it. Oh, yes. Yeah, the big clock. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, literally my my breast turned purple the last Whoa. time I had a mammogram. Oh. I was like, oof. But I love purple. Like I'm kind of obsessed. I'm like, oh, Look you love at the colors. <laughs> I would have made this up. You know, like, yeah. <laughs> so instead of you're welcome, it's more like thank you. Yeah, I was like, oof. Look at me. Oh yeah. Make myself small. Yeah. 
I've, I mean, I've seen this with tall people all the time, and it's, yeah. it's such a weird phenomenon. I like to think, I'm 5'9", but I like to think if I was, uh, if I was taller, I'd be like, yes, yes. But I don't know. Maybe. I think it's different, of course, for men. But uh, I think true. also, too, like, um, I've seen some tall women where, like, boom, tall, you know, and I'm like, fuck mm-hmm. yeah. But then I've also seen some tall women where, like, they're hunching over. And that's how I was until, actually, I was 19. I was in a, an acting class. My acting teacher, it was really cold in the classroom, and oh, I totally yeah. knew I had nipples, so I was, like, <laughs> hiding, you know? And then she was like, you apologized on that stage. For every step you took, you apologized. And I was wow. like, oh my God. And then I realized, I was like, oh, I'm trying to hide. But like, it's not being perceived that way. So then I was like, boom, shoulders back. And even now, like when I'm at work sometimes, it's like, sit it up. Like, yeah. put your shoulders back. Cause you know, hunched over the laptop and stuff. Yeah, like even yeah. now, like you're like, like thinking about yeah, it. I'm you're like, like, oh God, I have, yeah. it's hard. I, what corrected my posture was when I started deadlifting. It's Word. just like, you can't. You once, can't, once yeah. Once you pick up weight off the floor like that, yes. you just, you, if you slouch, it hurts so much. Yes. Um, I just haven't done it in a couple months at this point. So I'm like, now I'm, I'm really aware of my posture. I'm like, oh no, am I doing it? Yep. So I'm just you trying to get it to the microphone. feel all the muscles too. Like yeah. it's different. Because we took, I for acting in college, I had to take ballet. And that was like, I never took a dance class. And like mm-hmm. winding up your body and then like, it does make you taller. And again, that was like a mind fuck. Cause I was like, I've been trying to make myself small for so long. And then mm-hmm. all of a sudden they're like, no, I want you to stand up straight and blah, 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 blah. And I was yeah. like, Oh, this is crazy. This yeah. is crazy. This but is an advantage. <laughs> yeah. But it's like power poses. Like before shows, sometimes I'll just go in a corner and do a bunch of power poses, but also oh, wow. like I'll do like the stretch, you know, so I can high kick. But mm-hmm. sometimes you just see that moment of just like getting quiet, but then also like making myself bigger. Cause it's like when I get on stage, like if you're not owning that stage, like people know, Yeah. people know, like it's like a weakness. Oh, they sense they it so sense much. It, they see it. Yep. And again, like I'm a gentle giant, but I know, like again, like like I said earlier, like sometimes I forget how tall I am, and mm-hmm. sometimes I'll like point and like say something to somebody, and I see them step back, and I'm like, oh, oh shit, right. that I was almost in their eyeball. Yeah, right? I'm like, oh sorry, <laughs> sorry, I forgot. Mama's big. Sorry. <laughs> Here comes the money. I love it. Yeah. Oh yes, the boob in the mouth. That for real, there were so many people, and it was an older woman. Like that oh, happened. That's <laughs> not a bit. Like oh, that yes. happened. <laughs> Like my breast went in a woman's mouth. I was just, like, and I think I did go, "You're welcome." Like I think I did say that because it was like, "What did she say?" Like I don't think, oh, she had a mouthful of boobs. She didn't say nothing, you know. And I was just like, because it was just like all these people, and like they wouldn't move out of my way. And even um the other day, a guy was getting in my way, and I like checked him, like I like wow, hit him with my shoulder. Yeah. I was just like, "What the fuck, dude?" But like he technically checked me, I guess, because mm-hmm. he just like. I feel like, again, like, because I am so tall, like, when I go through my day and I'm not touching other people with my body, I'm like, yeah. that's the way it should be. It's a good be. day, right? It's <laughs> a good day. But, like, when people just, like, walk into me, I'm like, what? Like, how do you not? How yeah. do you not see me? Like, but, yeah. And, like, yes, yeah, she did say this, too, to me. I was very young. I was very young. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's too weird not to be true. Okay. <laughs> it's for real. Like my mom would just say the craziest things to me. Like I always had a blanket growing up and it was like, really soft. Just like, I mean, what is it about that disgusting blanket that you love so much? I was like, well, it's soft. And without missing a beat, my mom was like, you're going to love a dick. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Was she a truck driver too? <laughs> she wasn't, but she was a bus driver. For special needs children. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Mm-hmm. And this is true. Like, I went through the contract with a friend of mine, Rob, as yeah. well. He was majestic and he, you know, explained everything to me. So I'm totally breaking the rules. But apparently, like, that comic just wrote yeah. a book and she talks about the show. So I feel like she alludes to it. I don't say the yeah. name of the show. So I feel yeah. like I'm okay. But I wasn't going to ask either. I mean, it's probably last comic standing. But who knows? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> wait, wait, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can guess. I saw. Yes. You can, you can read my bio on my website. Yeah. You, you can, you'll, you'll know. You can put two and two together yeah. on this one. Yeah. But it was crazy because like, I told my mom and dad, I was like, yeah, you guys had to like sign a contract. They're like, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. How, how do we do this? How, uh, we got to fax it. We yeah. got to find a fax machine. <laughs> So, yeah, I think they were more nervous about the technology aspect of it, of printing it out and signing it. And then, uh, yeah. Then you can do digital signatures now. Now, yeah. but like when you have a, you know, a MacBook from 2005, you know, it's uh, pretty yeah. hard. You know, that's what they got. So <laughs> I love it. 
<laughs> oh yes, Pound Town. Yes. Ugh. When I was watching this, I've seen you plenty of times before, and I'm like, Pound Town is like a constant motif that comes yeah, up. Yeah, because I really need to go. <laughs> I need to go. And this was, I was wondering like, when does Pound Town come in? Yep. I want to know. Yep. <laughs> and the thing is too, Pound Town's like a newer bit, but I'm like, oh, I gotta, I gotta write more bits. But yep. I've been trying really hard, but I think uh, I had like this mental block because I did just record that album. So I'm like, oh, I can't do like a lot of my old material anymore. Uh, uh. But I just gotta like sit down and like, I know the material's there. I just gotta tap into it. But I mean, you could do Pound Town the same way that Patton Oswalt talks about comic books, you know? Yeah. Like, just a, a different variation. Could just, yeah. Every, it could be like my like Hot Pocket with yeah. Jim Gaffigan, you know? Yeah. Because I, I get like, I am not on Jim Gaffigan or Patton's level, but like they can like go back and do some best ofs and yeah. whatever. So I think Gaffigan's tired of hot pockets at this point. He probably but. is. But he also like the way that man generates material and he's so funny. And I like I follow him on uh Instagram mm-hmm. and it is a joy because he just yeah. makes fun of his kids, but like in the most loving way. And it's so sweet. Cause like you could tell those kids just adore him as a dad, but yeah. Every once in a while, one of those kids will do something stupid, and it's up there on Instagram. I'm <laughs> Better like, not oh, fuck man. up, Dad. Will tweet it out to yeah, the world. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, oh man. <laughs> you don't even have to like discipline them. You just gotta be like, I'm gonna tweet this. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yes, the dick that's not a dick. Mm-hmm. Did you write all this just to say a dick that's not a dick? or what, what? No, no, no. I, I actually, because um, whenever I talk about wanting to go to Pound Town, like, I have so many friends that are trying to like set me up. Yeah. And they're usually like just awful guys. And I'm like, I've already dated these men in my 20s and yeah. my 30s. I'm like, I'm looking for. I made all the mistakes. Like, yeah. Was, yeah. I, I want intimacy now. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, yeah, I want a dick. And I'm like, God damn. I don't, like, I don't want personally to have a dick, yeah. but like, yeah. I want to be in close contact with a dick, yeah. you know? <laughs> but I also am looking for a specific dick, you know? I want like a guy where she loves me and I love him and, mm-hmm. you know. All that bullshit. Yeah, Love. romantic Disney yeah. princess right <laughs> Gross. So, and it's, it sucks because, like, um, like, New Year's Eve, my friend was trying to set me up with a guy, and he totally checked out my chest, and he mm-hmm. did it in, like, the grossest way. Oh, no. And then what sucks is, like, I'd seen him, and I was like, oh, he's really cute. And then, uh, like, and then he did that, and it just instant. It's like, why would you fuck that up? Exactly. Like, you, you had a shot. And the thing is, too, like, the way he did it was so gross. And, and the, the, that's the thing, like, I'm constantly talking about how I feel invisible. But it's like, I'm either invisible or I'm looked at as just, like. Objectified. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, can we just. The thing is, too, like, again, I work. At a place there's a lot of men, and not yeah. a single one of those men have ever looked at me like that. Like, wow. even like all these dudes on the street that I'm invisible to. And then later on that night, okay, so it was New Year's Eve, uh-huh. that happened, and then we actually started talking, and he just was like, "Oh, you're the funny lady. Oh, you're the funny girl. You're the funny." Girl. And he just, so you could tell he was trying to be funny. Yeah. yeah, the look on your face, it was. It just kept Ugh. going further and further down, and I was just like, "No." Even had a shot after that. It's like, Ugh. oh, dude. Yeah, and my friend was like, he, "I mean, he's really nice," and I was like, mm. "Oh, that's perfect." That's, That's it? perfect. Okay. Yeah. Good, good, good. I was like, it just, it made me, it was just gross. So then later on that night, I'm like uh, walking home and it, me and my friend almost got hit by a cab. And Whoa. I like hit the back of the cab, like with my hand, like smacked it. Like, yeah. and I was like, what the fuck, dude? The guy gets out of the car, cab driver, Whoa. pulls over, does a UE, <clears throat> spits at us across the cab, what? starts screaming, you almost hit my cab. He gets in my face. He even lifted up his hand, like to hit me. Whoa. And the weirdest thing is, is like, I didn't. It was so like I kind of had an out of body experience where like I didn't, yeah, re- I didn't get scared, which was really weird. I also had half a pot cookie at that party, <laughs> and I feel like that's where you know. If you're about to get in a fight, yeah, take a hallucinogen. <laughs> yeah, like this is definitely where it comes in handy. And I know I was like you know drunk, but at the same time I was just like this guy almost hit us. So yeah. again, I was objectified a few earlier, like a few hours earlier, and then like completely ignored to the point where me and my friend almost got hit by this car. And then he was mad at me and I just kept yelling. I'm like, you almost hit two human beings. Yeah. You almost hit. And I could tell like he didn't give a shit mm-hmm. that he almost hit us. And then he gets in my face and he lifts up his hand. And even then my heart's not pounding. I'm like, and I almost was like daring him to hit me. Cause yeah. I was like, give honey, <laughs> I got 42 years of rage. Just like <laughs> pent up. Mama needs to go to pound town real bad. I will beat you down. Yeah. And he was like kind of young and he was definitely taller than me, but he was like, I wasn't scared of him, which like normal sober Amy yeah. like would have 100% been like, Oh my God, no. Cause again, I like, I know I sound very antagonistical, but I'm like, I'm very much a gentle giant. I've never been in a fight. I've never been in a physical mm-hmm. altercation, but with this guy I was so angry 
and I'm pretty sure in my neighborhood there's like an illegal gambling ring. Oh no! And could have been in a game. Yeah, <laughs> and there's a bunch of dudes outside, like like hanging around, and they're watching. And Whoa. as soon as a dude lifted up his hand, like all the guys were like, "Whoa!" Yeah. And then it's like he lo- looked at them, saw that he was being watched, and then he got yeah. in his cab, drove away. And I didn't even think to get my camera, take a picture. I like I. Like I relive this night, and I'm like, oh, I should have done this. I should have done. Th-. And like I should have hit his cap, but it's like I hit it with my hand. And it's like two tons of steel, like you can slap it. It's fine. Yeah. And, and the thing is, too, it's like he, that's how close he was that I was able to like hit it because he yeah. almost ran us over. And it was a red light. We totally were on the road. We had the right of way. He didn't even stop. He didn't even slow down. He like rolled through the intersection, almost hit me and my friend. Yeah. So it was just like, and I just kept saying like, you almost hit us, you almost hit us. So like, as soon as he saw them and I keep thinking, I'm like, if those men weren't there, I think he would have hit me. Oof. And then that's what I'm like, cause it wasn't until he was driving away and I was across the street with my friend and she at one point had tried to grab me. and was like, let's go. And I was like, no, yeah. like we are finishing the this. Ass. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it was so weird because like, that's when it like all the adrenaline hit. And then that's when I was yeah. like, Oh my God, what did I just do? Like, oh my God, oh my God, yeah. oh my God. But at the same time, I was like, I almost got into a fist fight with a cab driver. He 100% should not be allowed to drive people, yeah. especially women, around. No kidding. Like, what the hell? But also, wow. like, it's New Year's Eve night and you almost, like, hit someone. Like, yeah. that's dude. two potential rides. Like, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> right? That's right? a customer, but you right? almost hit. Also, wow. that like that's like the one thing you have to be good at is driving, and you already failed. Yeah, come on. So yeah, so invisible or objectified, the Amy Sumter story. I think that's my next special. There we go, invisible. Or <laughs> I often think I've I've been watching um, uh, Good Girls uh, lately, yeah. which is I love that show. It's turned into a bit of a soap opera oh, in totally. the second season, and I think about like Christina Hendricks, who's gorgeous oh my god right? beautiful absolutely gorgeous but i wonder if that's also her life because mm-hmm. i think about like i know these are actors and i'm like they have daily lives and i'm like i know that she's married to um uh, a director separated. dp or so oh yeah they got separated oh so is... we have a shot no, I'm like, yeah <laughs> no, you got a yeah. shot hey I, i'm taken I, i'm very happy in my relationship but i i think about someone like her who's just absolutely gorgeous has ginormous breasts and it's like i wonder if that's also her life is just ignored as a woman yeah. or an object because yep. she's so beautiful it's yeah. like i wonder and also too a... like let's be real in all of bad men they like accentuated her body oh yeah and, and don't get me wrong like like if if i fucking look like christina hendrix i'd be fucking mm-hmm. accentuating that as well oh yeah you know but I, I don't know, maybe I wouldn't, because, like, again, like, I didn't grow up in a naked house, so even, like, at the end of that bit, like, when I whip out my breasts, like, uh-huh. that was huge for me, and I, like, kept going back and forth backstage, because I try, because I know when things scare me, I'm like, okay, you gotta do this. Isn't that the best feeling? Like, you're like, it's, I have to do this I challenge. I have to do this, and the thing yeah. is, like, I, I wasn't willing to do both, and also, <laughs> I feel like if you you're, one. yeah, you get one, you get one, but also, like, they're so big, I'm like, this is enough. And also, one is enough. This is one like is two enough. normal ones. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. And also, like, I don't know, like, I was just like feeling it and like the love from the crowd. And, oh, Strip like, Joker is Strip Joker great is crowd. so great and so supportive. And even like some of the things that I said on stage, I was like, oh my God, like, I could literally like read my diary to these people and they'd be yeah. like, they'd be yeah. 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 Like, it was just such a great show and such a great night. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you it were was telling, awesome. you were storytelling mostly. And we'll, we'll get into yes. this when we do the actual, uh, uh, a show um but you you were storytelling and i think that got them into that groove yeah it wasn't just set up punchline set up punchline yeah Nobody and was... that's not how i do stand up like yeah. my stand up is 100 percent story based like yeah i don't yeah I well don't i've seen do that. snappier uh um like the laugh factory you know yeah. when you have like six minutes yeah i've seen you do like six seven minutes at the kates for example like filling yeah. in between comics and that's it's not yeah it's, you're right it's not set up punchline but it is like quippier yeah you're telling shorter stories so it does fit yeah. into the mold a little better i mean especially when you're following kelsey huff you have to <laughs> <laughs> well that's the thing too like me and kelsey know each other so well that it's like we could just like banter all day long you know yeah. or just like yeah just yeah it's super easy it's like we could do that in our sleep it's yeah. like let's just take this show on the road you know <laughs> okay we'll stop here uh we'll do get-